first time I laid eyes on you, my heart skipped a beat. I know God put me in your path to find you, but really, He put you for me to find you. Okay? We actually met four years ago, uh, this past Tuesday. <laughs> uh, I was just minding my own business, having dinner back in the residence of Oak Cliff. And uh, my mom made my favorite plate, you know, some costillas, green spaghetti, and some veggies. And, oh, she just decides to send me a message. Wow, that looks amazing. Thank you for the invite. Come on over. Whatever. She does. I'm like, wow, okay. She likes food. Cool. Points. <laughs> she comes all the way over to Roy City. We meet officially. Gave her a hug. I introduced myself. We were just outside talking. Outside of my dad's tailgate. I would say for at least a good hour, hour and a half. And then she's like, well, I gotta go. She gave me a hug, but then I went in for a kiss. Gave her a smile. And she walks away. And I was really happy. But then I thought about it. She forgot her plate. <laughs> so hey, that's the whole reason you came over. So I gave her a plate, she was happy. Sarai, these last four years have been amazing with you. I can't think of anybody else I want to share the rest of my life with. To have you forever in my life, to build a family with you. Oh my God, look at her jeans. She's very tall. Oh, I got some future MLB players coming up. I got you. <laughs> but in all, all truthful, truthfulness, you're my soulmate. I love her, my best friend. And I will have you till death do us part of it. I love you. So I guess it was worth the spaghetti? Oh, okay. Costillas. Oh, costillas, okay. Well, Kelly, will you please share your vows with Monica? <laughs> Marco, the day we first met and we had our first kiss, I told myself, what did I just get myself into? At the moment, I was not looking for anything serious, but after our first date, I reconsidered, and I'm glad I did. I had a checklist of my perfect guy. I made that list because I did not want to settle for less. I prayed to God on some of my hardest nights to just give me the man for me. And then he sent me you. These past four years have been the greatest years of my life. My love for you runs so deep within me. I can honestly stand here and say that I thank God every day for blessing me with a man like you. You are so understanding even when I don't deserve it. You inspire me to become a, a more positive and better person, I fall more and more in love with your genuine soul every day. I want you to know that I'm honored and privileged to be your wife, even with my imperfections. I'm glad you chose me. I promise to love you deeply and endlessly. I promise to be the best wife you will ever have. I promise to find your soul in every life after this one. And most importantly, I promise to be your forever shoulder to cry on when the end is <laughs> Better be ready. I can't wait to build a beautiful and successful life with you. I love you, Antonio. Well, Marco and Kelly, today you've pledged yourselves to a lifetime of devotion. May this be a commitment you've made in love. You will keep in faith and live in hope and eternally renewed. And because you made these promises to your one true love, it's with great joy and a full heart that I now pronounce you, husband and wife. Hoy ustedes se han comprometido a una vida de devoción. Que eso sea un compromiso que han hecho en el amor, guardado en la fe, vivido en la esperanza y eternamente renovado. Debido que han hecho esas promesas a su único amor verdadero, es con gran gozo y un corazón lleno que ahora los declaro marido y mujer. And Marco, you've been waiting for this moment. 
All right, you may kiss your wife. Puedes besar a tu esposa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, a Marcos and Kelly Flores. Es mi privilegio presentarles por primera vez como marido y mujer a Marco y Kelly Flores. <laughs> 